Hello everyone, hello, it's I, the Great Mirror Fast Bear, and today it is 3 in the Devil's Hour, and tonight we are gonna be summing uh, this classic creepy pasta. Starts with the letter M, I can't pronounce it because it's pretty long and stuff, and um, um, please like, comment, hit that subscribe button, shout out if you're all new, shout out to our subscriber who wants me to do it, please go follow his YouTube channel, link will be down in the description below. Let me explain about the 3M challenge. The 3M challenge is the top paranormal activity. Goons, goblins, ghosts, etc. All the supernatural power has a maximum from 3 to 4 yen. That's when the power goes back down to normal. Like, no. So we will be summoning this classic creepy pasta by doing a reaction video. That is right. Now, as you all see, I'm wearing a I survived Five Nights at Freddy's. I have been playing Five Nights at Freddy's on my Nintendo Switch. And I did find out in Roblox. As you all know, I've been playing Roblox all day and stuff. And I wanted to upload before the day end. Um, so as you all know, um, yeah, I have been playing Roblox. Um, I found some games. The actual Five Nights at Freddy's full games in Roblox. That's right. So, like I said before, we need tons of people. That's right, we need all of you guys. We need you all to hit that subscribe button, download and or play Roblox, come play with me in Roblox, guys. We need more people. Just like um, we had some people play with me when we played um, the countdown. That's right. Okay, so let me explain about the reaction video. There's one rule in this challenge. It's basically this. Every YouTuber knows this rule. It's literally this. Set your alarm clock for 5 or 10 minutes before 3 a.m. Put cold water, face up, wake up, make yourself presentable. Uh, have yourself get dressed. Have water, milk, tea, soda, hot chocolate. No coffee, because coffee will keep you up all night long. Have those four drinks. No coffee. Or you can have, like, one of them or two. In my opinion, I would mostly go for the cup of tea. Because I had, like... Four cups of tea. And I had, like, literally one cup of tea before I started the 3M challenge. Literally. It's literally gone, but because cause I'm a giant tea nerd and stuff. Yes, I have tried coffee before in tiny past and stuff. I had, like, one sip. It tasted horrible. Nasty. That's my opinion. You guys like coffee? I'm not judging. You guys like coffee? You guys want me to give coffee a taste again? Let me know down in the comments below. And I will do it just for you guys. I mean, I do love the smell of coffee, but I don't like the taste. I'm sorry. I'm not I'm not judging. I'm just saying what, what I feel about coffee. Eh? Star Trek. <laughs> okay. So, um... So... You guys would have to, like, read the instructions, like, literally two times before you start. So... The thing is, if you do not follow that rule, like say for instance, set your alarm clock for five or ten minutes before the end, put cold water your face, help you wake up, make yourself presentable, have water, milk, tea, soda, hot chocolate, no coffee. If you do not do that rule and stuff, and the thing is, if you wake up at 3 a.m. to do the challenge, if you do like half the challenge fully or the full challenge fully, the challenge will not work. You gotta be extremely wide awake, presentable, not half asleep, or like, I don't care. Just the kiddo, just the kiddo. <laughs> or so. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? You gotta be, like, literally wide awake. So, here's how the challenge goes. Set your alarm clock for 5 or 10 minutes before 3 a.m. Put cold water your face up and wake up. Make yourself presentable. Splash cold water your face. Have water, milk, tea, soda, hot chocolate, no coffee. Turn off all the lights. Go to your bedroom, close the door, lock it, sit on your bed. Watch the video to the very end. If you watch it all the way to the very end, we're gonna be seeing glitching, his spirit... Once we see it all the way to the very end, we might see more glitching. The lights might go out. Now, when the lights go out, we might hear and see him. Something insanely stupid might happen. Or something insane might happen. I don't know. Maybe Slenderman might appear. Because he's one of the first creepypastas that kind of like... Maybe something. Including with Jeff Keller. I mean, really. So, wish me good luck. Who knows? Slenderman might appear. And he might say, get away from here. Or something. Yeah. 
again, I don't know what's going to happen. This is my first time summoning this one. So, if we hear and see, we have to turn on the light. We might hear flashing lights and vanishing sounds, which only means that it is 4 a.m. if we actually succeeded on this 3 a.m. challenge. So, if anyone wants to watch the video that we're reacting to, that link will be down in the description below. Now, I'm talking, let's do this thing. Okay, so this is the video that we're going to be watching fully. I can already tell that it's glitching. So, let's start. This is the story. Boy, this is going to be fun. He doesn't look anything like a creepypasta. He just looks like maybe like a serial killer for all I care and stuff. Or some guy I don't know. But I can say this. Slenderman could beat his ass down. Jeff the Killer could kill him. Every creepypasta we all know could kill his ass. Including me. If he gets on my bad side. You know what I mean. Classic creepypasta. Marina Moragod Glasgow. What? There is a video on YouTube named Marina Moragod Glasgow. If you search for this, you will find nothing. The few times you will find something, all you will see is a 20 second video of a man staring intently at you, expressionless, then grinning for the last two seconds. The background what? is undefined. What? This is only part of the actual video. The full video lasts two minutes and was removed by YouTube after 153 people who viewed the video gouged out their eyes and mailed them to YouTube's main office in San Bruno. Ew. Said people have also committed suicide in various ways. What? It is not yet known how they managed to mail their eyes after gouging them out. The cryptic inscription they carved on their forearms has not yet been deciphered. YouTube will periodically put up the first 20 seconds of the video to quell suspicions so that people will not go to look for the real thing and upload it. The video itself was only viewed by one YouTube staff member who started screaming after 45 seconds. This man is now under constant sedation and is apparently unable to recap. All they heard was a high-pitched drilling sound. None of them dared look at the screen. The person who uploaded the video was never found. The IP address being non-existent. And the man in the video has never been identified. What the fuck is this? <laughs> People gouging their eyes, mailing their eyes to YouTube Studio in... What was it again? In the YouTube place? Oh my god, that is just... That's just terrifyingly creepy. What the fuck? <laughs> um, uh, the two minute video of 20 seconds. I'm confused. Is this video cursed? Oh, God. At least we watched it for one hour. For one hour. Wait, what, what time is it? It's 3.45 a.m. So I guess I'm literally cursed for like literally 15 minutes or something. When 4 a.m. hits, I'm going to be literally free of curse. But... Okay, the phone's glitching. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. We're gonna solve everyone's problems now. He's coming for me. Oh, shit. Oh, no. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Luckily, luckily. Oh, no. Oh, no. Luckily, I got insurance. I got insurance. I called the creed pasta to, kick, to kill him. Yes. So no one can be cursed by this monster ever again. Okay, guys. Tell me in the comments below if you hear or see him. I have my Egyptian symbol on enough to protect me. The symbol can literally cast him away and stuff. Because it will literally shield me from a curse. Kind of like him. Okay. I hear footsteps. Oh my god. It's getting pretty terrified. Oh god. Oh god. Hi! How you doing? M, I'm, I'm just gonna call you M for short, because I can't pronounce your name, and your name is ridiculously long. So you're the cursed thing that sended, like, tons of those people gouge out their eyes, mail their own eyes to YouTube, and have YouTube banish that. Ugh, why'd you do that? I would've totally loved to have saw that little cursed thing. It would've been great. But at least I know about your full story and stuff. So, you're literally the classic creepypasta? Uh, more like old 
more like you're not even close to a creamy pasta. The only creamy pasta, no. Hey. You think I know you're trying to walk towards me? You're afraid of this freaking blade and stuff. For an old timer, an old geezer like you, please. Every creepy pasta I've known and summoned could easily strike you down to pieces. And me. Which, a matter of fact, I think I will strike you down for everyone that you made to gouge their eyes out. And probably those ones that saw your video kill yourself. So, um, I'm going to avenge everyone so that no one can suffer the same fate that they did. So, how about three? <laughs> What the fuck? Did Slenderman just kill the, the cursed classic creepy pasta? Holy shit. Okay, light on, light on. Ugh. What the fuck just happened? Holy shit. Okay. Let's figure out what the fuck just happened. What the hell just happened? We react to the video. We see it glitching. We see his ghost appear like literally two fucking times. Next, we see more glitching. We hear stuff, lights go out, we hear and see him, and I'm about to charge at him to try and strike him down, to kill him, to finally end him for every single pain that he caused for all those whole people that gouged out their eyes and mailed their own eyes to YouTube and stuff, and had those people suffer. I was about to, and all of a sudden we fucking heard Slender Man. And I think I heard Slenderman kill him, and then they, and then he vanished with the body. Okay, like I said, Slenderman, every creep pasta that I summon can literally kill this this guy, and Slenderman did it. Wonderful. We turn a light. We hear flashing lights and vanishing sounds. Only means one thing. Only is it for him? Okay, it's for him. Okay, guys, I hope y'all enjoyed. Please like, comment, hit that subscribe button, shout out if y'all new. And if you guys are going to be summoning a cursed guy and stuff, use the ancient Egyptian symbol, the Egyptian symbol, Onyox, will literally protect you from any type of curse or the, hang on a second, or the Egyptian symbol Scarab with the Eye of Ra or Eye of Horus. And maybe the Millennium Puzzle, because the Millennium Puzzle does have the Egyptian symbol Eye of Horus or the Eye of Ra. Hey, the Egyptian symbols, Eye of Horus, Eye of Ra, the Adiox symbol, will literally protect you, shield you from the curse, and protect you from the curse, and wear it until the curse is gone. Now, considering the fact it's 4 a.m., I am no longer cursed, and this thing will literally take away any curse that is on you and stuff, and you will no longer be cursed. Just go to a store, get an Egyptian symbol, Adiox, Eye of Horus, Eye of Ra, and you will be protected from any type of curse or bad spirits or bad entities and demons, too. Yeah. Hey, it works. Fucking works. And that cursed spirit spirit thing, the classic Kree pasta. Yeah, it does. I feel like it does. Okay, guys, I hope you all enjoyed. Please like, comment, hit that subscribe button. Shout out if you all new. And I'll see you on the next one. Have an amazing day. And, um... Uh... I'll catch you on the next one. Have a good day. And I will be playing this game in Roblox tomorrow. FNAF Coop. FNAF 1, Night 3, and 4. If anyone wants to know how to pass it, watch my video to the very end tomorrow. It's gonna be a breeze. It's gonna be a blast, to be honest. <laughs> I'll see you all there. Bye! Oh, I'll be wearing the Freddy ears. Hee <laughs> hee! Bye!